for all you Hunger Games fans out there, you've read the books, reread the books, watched the movies, and rewatched the movies. You talk about it constantly. You think about it. You wish Suzanne Collins would just write another book. Well, I got some good news. She is. She's writing the fifth installment to the franchise, and it's coming out soon. So for all the details, watch the video. We're going to go to the intro. The title of this book is Sunrise on the Reaping. And it'll follow a young Hamish Abernathy as he fights his way through the 50th Hunger Games or the second quarter quill. There'll be double the amount of tributes as usual, which will be an interesting thing to see. So, following Hamish, why Hamish? Well, it makes sense because the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes shows Lucy Gray Baird, District 12's first victor. And then, the third victor is shown in the Hunger Games, well, technically third and fourth, Katniss and Peeta. So, where's, where's the second? So, it makes sense to show Hamish. The book's release date is set for March 18th, 2025, and the release date for the movie is November 20th, 2026. It's crazy how fast they're making these movies. Like... She's writing the book, and I'm sure Lionsgate has already started. So I'm sure she's working with Lionsgate to, like, write the book while also making the movie. So they're making them fast. And even though it's, like, less than a year away for the book, and, like, less than two years for the movie, I can't wait. I don't think I'll be able to wait that long. <laughs> It'll be way too hard. But, yeah, that's the release date. And it's crazy that we already know. I'm so excited. If you actually, if you want to get an idea of what's going to be in the movie, just read C Catching Fire. There's a section in the book where it just talks about Hamish's Hunger Games. So he kind of, so he goes through and it's different than usual. There are fields of poison and stuff that you have to stay away from, which is interesting considering how Snow uses poison to kill his enemies. It's interesting that there's like poisonous plants and all that stuff in the thing, in the Hunger Games. So, basically, Hamish goes through, and he's surviving by hiding out, and he, he, he becomes, he starts an alliance with the District 12 girl, Maisie Donner, I think that's her name. Um, so they become friends, and then when it's down to the final five, she leaves. He gets all the way to the edge of the thing, of the, the arena, and so she leaves because it's the final five, and she doesn't want to have to kill him. He doesn't want to have to kill her. But then she's attacked and killed by bird mutts. So he runs out trying to save her where he stumbles in to a pack where he fights off and most of them die. And then it's just back down to him and may and s some girl. So they're fighting, and they're so, they're so injured and stuff that they can't really fight anymore. Uh, she throws an axe at him. He ducks, and it goes off the edge of the arena. So basically, it's like, who will die first? But the axe bounces off the force field, comes flying back, and goes into her skull. That's, that's what it says in the book. I'm sure the movie adaption will be probably slightly less violent, but it's an interesting idea. After that, her parents or his parents and girlfriend and all that is killed because it's taken as an act of defiance, just like Katniss and Peeta with the berries. So that's that's the semi-plot. That's the pl plot that we know so far from Catching Fire. I'm sure she'll stick very close to it in the book, and the movie, I'm sure, will make some changes. But knowing Lionsgate, knowing how they make the Hunger Games movies, I'm sure it'll be pretty close to the book. Which is one of the things that I like. That's why I like the movie so much, because they stay close to the book. So the cast for the movie. That's a harder thing. It's not confirmed the cast yet. Anyone could play Hamish. Any young actor could play Hamish. Woody Harrelson will most likely not be playing Hamish because he's older. And 
just wouldn't really look like a teenage version of himself. But what I'm interested in, who would be playing Snow? They could use Tom Blythe, who played a younger Snow in The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, and they could use prosthetics, CGI, makeup, all that stuff to make him look older. Or they could also use Donald Sutherland and use all that same stuff to make him look younger. Uh, but many, many Hunger Games actors, such as Tom Blythe, Rachel Zegler, um, Kat, Jennifer Lawrence, I almost said Katniss, and um, Liam Hemsworth have expressed interest in returning to the franchise. So we might see cameos from them. I'm not sure about that, though. But who knows? I think, I, I feel like that Tom Blythe, he was a great actor. I feel like he could come back as an older version of Snow. But nothing's confirmed for the cast yet. That's just the theories. So, that's everything we know. Everything we know about the movie and everything we know about the book. It's not too much yet. But it's helpful to have Catching Fire and have Suzanne Collins' early retelling of his games. Because now she kind of has to stick close to that for the book. So we, so we kind of know what his games are going to be like in the book. The movies, we're not so sure about really anything. We don't know about the cast. We don't know if they'll stick close, which, knowing Lionsgate, they will. But that's, that's all we know about the, the book and movie so far. When the book comes out, I might have to do a book review. When the movie comes out, I might have to do a movie review. I love The Hunger Games. So, yeah, I'm excited. Also, for other videos like The Hunger Games videos, Star Wars videos, Marvel videos, just subscribe to the YouTube channel. We, that's not all we have. We have other stuff. I mean, our YouTube channel is called Random X. It's random stuff. So, yeah, we got me talking about movies and books, and then you got Miles doing breakdancing, and you got Sayla doing her ballet and doing other stuff, and then you got Carter and Trey doing their sports and all that. So we got lots of stuff. So please, it would be really helpful if you just subscribed. If not, that's perfectly fine. Just like the video, whatever. Um, so, thanks. Subscribe. March 18th, 2025. And November 20th, 2026. Just so, stay alive. <laughs>